Hey, it's cool if you don't know. And uh, something is about to happen. As you can see, last save chance. This means we've almost finished the Cans trilogy. You now have full health, your magic can do up to 100 damage, your and your attacks can do up to 200 damage. This is cans, the rules don't apply here. A lot of stuff! A save point. I suppose we should use this save point, because honestly, we don't want to lose any progress. Oh my goodness. Yes, for the first... No, last time. Another M-Tech armor. Ooh. Shiny. I'll have pepperoni and sausage. Infernal machine work. Are you ready? Yes, let us begin. Well said, Mr. Announcer, dude. That wasn't cool. Alright, well attacks can do up to 200 damage so we're going to try to use those. Even though they can miss occasionally. Alright, Chuck gets to use the force. Chuck has to use the force. Yeah. Um. Excellent. Yeah, just to make sure, because that uh, force was not very effective. Stop missing, please. Mecha Stomper. What the hell is that? Aha. Have MZ use the force on his turn anyway. 57 points, excellent. Half tech. Okay, his HP was reduced to half. So next one to use the force, I suppose, is Waka. Uh, inmate. And Waka uses the force for 20 points. Lame. Fine, we'll use a stupid mega potion. Excellent. The M Tech force. Well, so much for the M Tech force there, Robert. Quit missing. Oh my. Ah, this is going to be a very forceful turn. Everybody is using the force. Just to specify, the force used to be used for anyone with an HP lower than 80. Well, I'm going to use it for an HP lower than 60 in this battle. Uh, fight. Inmate use the force. There we go. Some good progress going on here. Alright. 
Come on. That was over half done now. No need to use a force this turn either. 96. Ooh. Nice hit, inmate. Nice hit, Waka. Nice miss, jerk off. Laughs maniacally. That is just the best freaking last boss move ever. Oh my. 30 points. Uh, this is once again going to be a very forceful turn. Only Chuck gets to attack. Oh, come on, Cindy. Get with the program. Cindy doesn't know how to use the freaking force. Not again. Uh, Cindy is going to use potion because honestly inmate just at the borderline I'll allow him to attack and then MZ there we go oh quit picking on Cindy come on she's the only girl she doesn't need to be picked on like that Oh, dilemma. I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna go for it, man. Elmo doll, away! That was lame. That was even lamer. What the hell? Oh, I seriously hope that... Oh, will you stop missing? Ha <laughs> yes! Ninety one one sixty eight one twenty one Yes Robert has been defeated forever Sure I can I just did Of course, I'm expecting something to happen. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Um. No. No. Dang it. Ah, this is not good. Oh my goodness. I have to do this all over again. I'll be right back. Um, maybe not. I've apparently found a secret passage. That's cool. I'm confused. Confused, disoriented, and... Well, glad it's over, I guess. Zap. Ah! And so, Barkness was freed from the rule of the cruel tyrant Robert. It was by the efforts of the hero Chuck and the heroine Cindy. Soon after, many Megazooksters flocked to live in the free Barkness to escape the rule of the lead of Megazooks. But very quickly, the lead took over here too. Hope well, I have enough time. The lead building became the home of the Igmos, as they were called. They led a rule that lasted three weeks until the lane fought back and all elite was purged out of darkness.
Robotech factories were taken over by Barkness Megatrends. And after the elite were purged, Barkness Megatrends took over Barkness. It was a cruel company dictatorship, but nobody cared! And Chuck finally got that statue he always wanted. Even though he never returned to Barkness again. The statue was used in the Megazix Rules TV show to destroy a city, and was soon replaced by a statue of Mental Guy. The new president of Barkness Megatrends and dictator of all Barkness. <laughs>